Hey, hey, all you mentees, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today, well, today I get to talk about one of my favorite manga of all time. It is back, this time in masterpiece form. So I am going to be doing an overview of Aria, the masterpiece editions. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Here it is, all of Aria, the Masterpiece Editions, uh, complete. We have volumes 1 through 7. This is what all the spines look like. Uh, so you have the Tokyo Pop. It's so weird to say Tokyo Pop again. Uh, Tokyo Pop logo up there, uh, the title, and then, of course, the creator, Kozue Amano. Uh, I will say that it feels weird, not because I'm hating on Tokyo Pop. I love Tokyo Pop. I used to review Tokyo Pop manga for a magazine. Woo, 20 years ago. Uh, but anyway, it feels weird because they're no longer the big powerhouse that they were at one time. Now it's just pretty much whatever licensing they have, they do uh, kind of print on demand. And that's what these are. This is a smaller print run of the original Masterpiece editions that came out, I believe, in 2019. And how in the world did I miss that? So we're going to be taking a look at each one of these and then, of course, opening up... Um, volumes to look at the different type of artwork and to see how Kozue's artwork just evolves over time. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, but right off the bat, I know I'm going to be asked this question because I would have been asking the same question. Is Aqua collected in here? Aqua was the very first two uh, Tonko Bonds that came out in Japan. And they came out here in America. I think ADV, no, ADV published Aria. I'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. Uh, but yes, they are collected in volume one. And then volume two through seven is the Aria series. So this is everything from this particular story. But let's take a closer look at each of these books. Let's look at the covers. So each of the covers features, of course, one of the main characters from the book. This here being of Aria. It is art that spreads across the spine and on the back there. They do have these French flaps. You know, I never understood the use of those. Um, I've always thought maybe they were used as bookmarks. I believe this one here is Alicia, if I'm not mistaken. That's the <laughs> one of the most confusing things about these is that uh, all the characters, all the settings start with the letter A. Um, so it gets a little bit confusing. I think this one here is Akira, if I'm not mistaken. So <laughs> as soon as I got these in, I went ahead and started reading them and revisiting this world. So there's a big reason why I love this manga. Um, so one thing you're probably going to notice is this gold right there. It's embossed. And it's just Arya the Masterpiece. It's also here on the spine. You can see the gold. Nice little touch there. Ages 13 plus. I don't know why. Really, I think this is suitable for any... 13 plus, I don't know, I'd be okay with my 10 year old reading this. It's innocent enough. Uh, each of these volumes retails for $24.99. And again, all of them coming with a French flap. We're not going to look at each volume, just a uh, couple of them. Look at the inside and the build of them. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that while I talk about what exactly is the story of Arya. All right, so the very first thing I want to do is compare it to the size of a Tonkaban, just to kind of give you an idea of what size you're looking at. So these Masterpiece Editions are bigger in dimensions than your average Tonkaban. Hence the price increase, of course. Um, and then this is what it's like compared to the size of a Biz Signature Edition. So it's bigger than that. It is in softcover format. And I was hoping that they would release these in hardcover format. So we're going to be just looking at a couple of pages here. I love this. So beautiful. Uh, this is Akari Mizunashi, who is the main character of Aria, the water planet. So here's your table of contents. Uh, the very first page, this is in glossy paper, but the rest of this book is in this matte paper that they're using, including the color pages, and all the color pages are in here. As a matter of fact, it's really just missing a, a couple of things, and I'll talk a little bit about that here uh, when we dive into another volume. So each one of these are built the same. You have a character here. It's brand new artwork. 
and then you have more color pages and then of course your table of contents so it's within the very first few pages that you meet this character here of akari misunashi who is from the planet man home and i will say man home is properly translated because i remember in the first uh book that i read i think it was translated by adv or tokyo pop one of those earlier releases it was translated to earth and I hate when they do that. I hate when they just feed you exactly what it's supposed to be. Yes, <laughs> it's supposed to be Earth. It's supposed to be Mars. So Aqua, the very first two volumes, as this was called, and then it was changed over to Aria, is the planet where this young lady is traveling to from Manhome. It was once called Mars. And it was terraformed by humans. And of course, there was an accident that over flooded the planet. So what they decided to do was instead of just letting it go and abandoning the planet, they decided to make it more like um, Venice. So hence the name of the city that she is going to called Neo Venezia. So what she wants to do here is join a company called the Aria Corporation. And there she gets to be trained to be a gondolier. A gondolier for space travelers that want to take tours of this beautiful planet. That's it. That's the premise. There's no, a fight, <laughs> there's no fighting here. No demons. No giant robots. No, no love story really. Maybe a little bit here and there. But this to me is the definition of slice of life yes it takes place in an alternate future it takes place on a different planet it's got sci-fi elements fantasy elements but when you really look at it this is nothing more than a slice of life and for those people that don't know what a slice of life is because i have been asked what exactly i'm talking about here let's look at a future volume let's look at just move on to like volume number two this is the one with alicia florence on the cover here and here she is right here in this beautiful new drawing by Kozue, absolutely beautiful. And again, your table of contents where you're gonna find each of the chapters. But what I was saying is that slice of life means just everyday living. That's pretty much it. There's That's the basic definition. It's what you would do in your regular life. I, I describe a lot of like uh, Studio Ghibli films as slice of life, like things like Whisper from the Heart, because there's really no magical or fantastical elements going into it it's just two kids living uh, one wants to be a violinist the other one wants to be a famous writer and tell her stories and this is very similar she wants to be a gondolier but it's got fantasy and sci-fi elements in there too because of the president there uh, and of course different planets and space travel but it's just so cute I, this is my kind of story that i want to sit down and read and just when it when it's raining outside i love coming back to this uh and this is coming from the guy that thinks berserk is the greatest manga of all time which it is it is the greatest like to me it's the greatest but i have had every incarnation of this i've had the adv uh manga i've had the uh tokyo pop translations and for some reason i missed out on the 2019 release of the masterpiece edition so i'm so glad that tokyo pop decided to reprint them and here we have, I think this is the daughter of the opposing gondolier company. Akari's first friend when she first arrived um, on the planet Aqua. But like I said, this gets confusing because of all the names. And that is about the only downside to any of this. But she's also heir to the Himeya company, which is kind of like the opposing company to the uh, Aria company. See what I mean? All the A's, That's that's it. And this is what the artwork looks like through volume three. Here, let's look at a future volume. Okay, we are looking at volume number six. And this, oh man, uh, Athena. I think that's what who this is. Athena something. She's from a different company too. There she is, Athena Glory. Look at that gorgeous artwork. And she, I think she is Alice's mentor, if I'm not mistaken. And then Alice is no alicia is um akari's mentor and yeah you get used to it i promise once you're done reading uh volume by volume you'll learn uh the different names um that like i'm serious that is about the only downside i can say to these particular books every story 
is kind of standalone-ish. You have different characters that get involved in Akari's life. And it's just every day trying to go to the school, trying to learn to be a gondolier. And, oh, it's so pure, so innocent. I love this manga. And it reminds me that I need to introduce my daughters to this world. Because like I said, I have no problem with a 10-year-old reading things like this. There is an anime, which... I also own, I think it's been released in Blu-ray format and in DVD format. Okay, so this is volume number five. Um, I wanted to talk about the build of the books here. So this, again, this is Alice. I love that some of the names are Italian. And some of them, of course, are Japanese. By now you can see uh, how much comfortable that Kozo is with the characters that she is drawing. Um, now, the build of the book. So this is sewn binding, and each of these books are about 350 plus pages each. The one downside to this is the paper quality that they're using. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, three-in-ones, the Viz three-in-ones, where they're using the thin matte paper. So you see some artwork bleed from the opposite side. And... To me, it doesn't really bother me. I'm okay with that. I get this beautiful book. But I think some people are used to, when you hear Masterpiece Edition or the Lux Edition, uh, you, you're used to big, thick paper like they use in Berserk or uh, Blade of the Immortal or even some of the Viz Signature series. Um, but in this, they went with a thinner paper just to put it out there uh, for the people that it does bother. So, overall... What else can I say about this without going into spoilers? I don't didn't really want to talk about the story. I just want to give you kind of a basic premise of it. Uh, this is the simple pleasures of living on a different magical planet where every day is just slowly passing by. And the people on that planet all move at a slower pace because they enjoy every day for what it is. Uh, but that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing any of these books, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content and page count and build of these particular editions of Aria. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever heard of the series, if you've watched the anime, or you've read the manga when it was originally published by ADV or Tokyo Pop, the smaller Tonkaban size. Um, if you have any more questions, leave your questions down below. This was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Check us out on Spreadshop and Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. But more importantly, all of you stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.